Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here and today I'll be going over a game called Summer Catchers. Summer Catchers was developed by Faceit, was published by Noodle Cake, was first released onto the PC on July 16, 2019 with the MSRP of $11.99 and recently it came out on the Nintendo Switch on February 11, 2021, the MSRP is also $11.99. Alright, as always, the prices and release dates I have revealed here are for the United States. It may vary from region to region. Why don't we get started? This is basically a runner. Let's start a new game. You quite enjoy the graphics. He's a wolf. We're going to skip the tutorial because we know how to play. Okay, so basically you have your menu here. You can collect these collectibles. You have missions here to do for as you're playing through. Uh, once you complete all the missions, you can go towards the next level. Here is the shop. Basically, how you play this game is the car will continue to move, and then there are going to there are going to be some obstacles, uh, such as a totem pole. It, it'll list it right there. If you can see here on the bumper, it'll go through the snow pile and the totem pole. If you look here, the jumper will go over the snow pile. Snow pile. Sorry. <laughs> um, the spike pit and the large shell and the booster will also let you go over the large shell. So we're going to buy some of these. You look, it shows you how many you have. Okay. Spend all our money there. You can look at our backpack. Those are our collectibles. So our mission is to collect the 100 mushrooms. To do that, you have to collect the rain power up, I think which makes the mushrooms grow. Anyways, those are all side things, and here is the main game. As it loads. All right, there we go. So you can press Y to swap out powers if you want. If you look, the cooldown period is pretty long. Uh-oh, oh my god. All right, I couldn't get in jump in time. And now we got it. And we died. <laughs> uh, so, the gimmick is that you have to rotate your powers out to the right one, but there's a cooldown period. And it's kind of juggling those and using your abilities as best as you can to overcome the obstacles. Once you hit them a certain number of times, you're just dead and you have to start over again. So. Okay, we'll go again. Now there are cool ways the game kind of mixes it up as you go through and meet some goals. You have some like narrative encounters. Uh, there are boss fights where you're just basically running away from 
some creature. Alright, and then you unlock new cars. You can go here. You got like a scooter, you can unlock new hats. I'm not sure if the hats do anything. Or if the cars do anything, I'm I'm assuming they do. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. We'll do a few runs and then hopefully I'll give you guys an idea what the game is like. Oh my god, alright. No, <laughs> we didn't have a booster. It's a little rough sometimes when um, you don't get the items you want because the swapping out is random and there's a cooldown. I'm actually going to turn this to easy. There you go. It's more enjoyable this way. Alright. Oh, we don't have boosters. Alright, oh well. Kind of needed to go uphill, but... We'll try our best, I guess. Yeah, there's some situations where, like, you get three jump obstacles one after the other and you don't get jump fast enough. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating, but... You don't have rockets. Okay. Oh my god, it used so many jumps for this, okay. Not worth. Oh, the bubble protects you from one obstacle when you get it. Oh, the mushrooms are just currency, I forgot. Well, we're out of jump, I think. Oh, we made it up thanks to the bubble, I think. Oh, here we go. The bubble pops. Yeah, we don't have any more jump left. And when we die here. Oh, the next one we die. Yeah. Ah. Okay. We made a lot of money. Now we can buy more stuff. Kind of use bumper and jumper equally. The booster, you don't need as much. You just need it for the big hill. As you saw before, you, I took three jumpers to get over it. So it was not worth. Uh, but yeah. Now, cure rare trees, you get a new item, which is the bug spray, and then you have to spray it on the trees that are crawling with bugs. And then you get credit for that. Same thing with the cut dead trees and plant saplings. Alright. Let's keep going. Hmm. Oh, uh, I didn't have, uh... Okay. I need a... I don't have bug spray. 
No, I used the wrong one. <laughs> oh god, okay. It's a little bit hard to uh, see the obstacles coming when you're when you're that fast and you have boomer vision. We go again. I'm playing on my monitor right now through my Elgato, but uh, for some reason, it seemed a lot easier playing in handheld mode, to be honest. I really don't... I think the respawn speed should be a little bit faster, to be honest. It's a little bit slow for my taste. You can, by the way, use your abilities a little before you actually see the obstacle. Oh, it's not ideal. Okay. Alright, we got that one down. Be helped. I think I'm out of the thrusters. Is this problematic? I think one more hit and I'm gone. I think three hits. Yeah. Okay, we did pretty good. Pretty well. Oh. There's an encounter. Okay, uh, if you try to move closer, it'll run away, so close your eyes and try to hide. Uh -huh. yeah. Just gave me a uh, bell. Not entirely sure what it does, but it's there. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, uh... 
You can talk to the wolf? Alright. You can cut dead trees. Alright. Mm, what about a racer? Got some new wheels now. Yeah, look at that. Remember, you, you gotta do the jobs on that job board to get out. Kinda in the zone right now. Uh oh. <laughs> I needed a jump, I got an axe. That's why I, I kinda don't like the- oh my god. Another jump. Yeah, I kind of don't like that part of this game, to be honest. Oh, I needed a thrust. Yeah. I wish it would use like a pseudo random generator where you know, if you get like two jumps, I wish the third thing wouldn't be a jump right away or there'll be long enough of a gap in between so you can get a rando uh, okay i'm gonna play a little bit more and then i'll show off the, the level that you get next actually mm, i do kind of want to get to the boss fight so yeti <laughs> all right try our best then Yeah, I, I needed a thrust and I, I didn't get one. There we go. Oh, I jumped too late, unfortunate. See, I need a jump. I got an axe. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bit hard to manage that sometimes with the short cooldown period. It's the only thing that I just kind of don't like. Okay. You know what? We need a new hat. Let's buy a new hat. So that's what we're missing. Now we have a new look and we'll do a lot better. Just buy some skins, that's always the answer. Skins make you play better. I'm being sarcastic if you can't tell. <laughs> Alright. I can trade the rocket for the axe. Chances are we won't run into uh, a hill that early. I didn't even see that. Oh no! <laughs> I did the wrong thing. I'm tilted.
Uh, oh, I had it. I had it. Okay, I'm just thrown. Okay. The question is, how does this wood car move? This guy is solved. And the energy crisis. Okay, plant saplings. Now we can move on to the boss after this. Okay. I couldn't move there in time. No, give me. Okay. All right. That's not what I want. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right. I need to jump up. Just got it just in time, dude. We did it. Oh man, okay. That was a little bit stressful. Ooh, what's that in the background? Did I use it? I didn't, okay. I think I planted five already, but just in case, oh shoot. Oh, right, now we did it, all right. No, <laughs> wrong one, darn it. All right, oof. That hit? Unfortunate. I meant to do that? Yes, exactly. I meant to do that so I can show you guys the boss fight now. To Chunya. Alright. Okay, we feel bad. Now we can go to the new area. Before that though, let's stock up. You're gonna need a lot of boost for this place. Oh wait. I should probably buy a new car. Buy the scooter. We we gotta go fast. 
Okay. All right, let's go. The Yeti will chase you and you have to run away from him. Actually, I, I don't know what that is. I think you need to boost when he does that. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely creepy. <laughs> oh god, I ran into a snow again. That's really annoying. It's hard for me to see because there's a huge condenser mic in front of my face right now. time we are, we're close 400 to go 400 meters or whatever you know distance really close uh oh oh no <laughs> Oh no, I was trying to get rocket boosters because I uh, switched it by accident. Alright, we're close. Going back, we're going back. Stack up. Okay, looks good. We got one of each. I'm not talking because I'm concentrating right now. Trying my best not to mess up. The snow piles are the worst. I can't see them. Because they're so tight. Oh, I thought I pressed that. Unfortunate. No! Oh, I... Second guess myself there. Oh, I couldn't see that because the tree was in the foreground. <clears throat> oh, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I find that a little bit annoying when there's something in the foreground blocking your vision. All right. Back to it though. <laughs> We're close. All right. No Johns. Just got to do it. Get good. And if anything, Dark Souls taught me there are no excuses. <laughs> you just have to get good. Okay. Oh. 
I thought I jumped there. Oh, I guess you can only use one power at a time? That must be it. I didn't see that. Yay. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. No, you can use powers at the- No! Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I was so close. That'll be cut during editing. Me too. Me too. Alright. Gonna do it again. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that hit? How? Ridiculous. We did it. RNG has blessed us. All right. Oh. I was concentrating so hard. <laughs> this place has a new power up. The propeller. Uh, there's a lot of new things happening here. Oh, like that mole. You gotta jump over it. There's more skill involved on this level. There's like a large tree that falls down and- Oh, I did it too early. Uh, you gotta use the rocket to boost out, otherwise you'll get hit. Like this one. It'll fall out and hit you if you don't speed out in time. I wonder if we can bulldoze the mole out of the way. I didn't even see it pop out. Okay. 
All right, I can show off the new item, the new jobs, and I'll call it there because that should give you guys an idea what the game is like. There's a crow here, an owl. The owl wants blueberries for some reason. Stuff's going on. So this one, uh, it'll just float in the air. You need this to cross the frozen landscape. All right. Hey, you can't boost through the mold. <laughs> All right, good to know. Good to know. Well, you can use jumper to get, oh, okay. I'm learning things. Ooh, fancy new car. An elf hat. Mm, should we buy it? Nah, let's save our money for a little bit. Okay. I'll show off the propeller. And collect berries now. You need the propeller for that, or jump. flying now oh the berries were there <laughs> this is you need the propeller for this because it's too long for jump This, this thing is really good. You can use it way early. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Uh-oh. Oh, I got lucky there. <laughs> oh, man. Hit me, I think. Nope. Got hit there. Alright, RNG. Alright, why don't we call it there? It went a little longer than I wanted to. Oh, now we can talk to Dal and get him some blueberries.
Okay, before I go, let me stock up on... Bumper and jumper are definitely the most important. All right. There you have it, folks. Summer Catchers out now for the Switch and PC. The MSRP is $11.99. Developed by Face It, published by Noodle Cake. I'll hopefully, give you guys an idea what the game is like. And hopefully, you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, feel free. <laughs> messed it up there please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always hope you guys are staying safe and seen out there and catch you guys next time